Wednesday was a perfect storm of mechanical issues, leading to Chair 1 at Whitefish Mountain Resort breaking down and leaving some skiers stranded for hours. So we get on the chair and it stops and uh, immediately my boyfriend starts joking about being evac'd and, and I was like, don't tempt fate. And I was like, it's not a big deal. I've been stranded, you know, for a short amount of time. Um, and then like the minutes ticked by and like we had fun for the first hour and then I was like, okay, <laughs> something's gotta give. The morning started out rocky with chair two not running to begin with. Then around 12.30 in the afternoon, chair one stopped. Some skiers were stranded for close to four hours due to mechanical issues and did not have any information or communication about the situation. Well, initially it was like that I was hungry. And then towards the end of the four hours, it was about how bad I had to go to the bathroom. Um, and just hoping it doesn't take too long, I guess, uh, because it's cold to just sit there, especially when you're dressed for skiing. Whitefish Mountain spokesperson Chad Sokol said that mechanical issues are common with chairlifts and they can usually be resolved before evacuations are necessary, but not in this case. We were hoping that we would be able to use backup power. Uh, unfortunately, that uh, didn't work either because uh, the same electrical issue also, uh, th there was just no communication with our switchboard, so backup power didn't work. Although the resort doesn't have an exact number, they estimate that 200 to 300 people were evacuated. No injuries or frostbite were reported. I would consider this a fluke, a perfect storm of, of challenges. Um, not something that happens often, uh, but when it does, you know, we uh, try, try our best to work hard to fix it and uh, got people off safely, and that's all, that's all we could have hoped for yesterday. This situation was not ideal, but thanks to well-trained and dedicated ski patrollers, the issue was resolved. Seasoned skiers aren't going to let this fluke stop them from enjoying the slopes. I would like to think that this is knock on wood that, you know, I got it out of my system. I won't have to be stuck on a chair anytime soon. In Whitefish, Kiana Wilson, MTN News.